We've got high school students, high school teachers, college students, college professors. We've got practicing professionals. We have representation from all practice areas. We've got people from the U.S. and abroad, and they've all have come here. The International Association of Black Actuaries, or IABA, has, has one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to, our, our goal is to increase the number of black actuaries worldwide. What do, you, what do you see when you see this picture? You know what I see? I see all these young, talented people in 1992 that came out after having a great lunch and said, you know what, we believe that we're better supporting each other and we can do more. And so this group became and helped form what is now the IBA. We want to definitely elevate people, inspire them by recognizing achievements, by showing some role models, some examples of what's been done in the past, and then have them embrace the idea and help carry it, carry it forward. first time here so like trying to see what it's all about. <laughs> I've come from Morgan State University and the program pretty much just opened up a year ago so we're still learning. So hopefully I'll get a, a mentor and possibly an internship. I think as a college or high school student this is a great place for you to get to meet people who are already in the career and to get like basic knowledge as to what to expect after graduation. You know the word just has to get out there about the profession. We're trying to do our part here at this meeting but more importantly, throughout the other 364 days of the year, you know, what are we doing to get the word out? So be going to high schools, colleges, that's really you know, where it has to happen. I've always enjoyed you know, helping like tutor or mentor, and I think you know, giving presentations, coming here, events like this are an extension of that. I plan on uh, pretty much putting myself out there, trying to market myself to uh, the big companies, and uh, hopefully, like I said, come away with an internship, hand my resume, and get to know some people. You've got to believe in yourself in order to accomplish things, and that's what I want every young person to take away from this. Um, you know, don't be afraid of interviews. They're about a topic where you're the worldwide expert. You know, it's on you. Talk about yourself. Don't be afraid to bring who you are to work. What makes diversity as important is it's those perspectives, it's those experiences that add richness to the environment. So those are the things that, you know, take, take some pride in who you are, believe in what you can accomplish, and then others will pick up on that and you'll start to see that they have the same ideas about you. How'd you find out about the actuarial career? You having a good time? And so you're in the actuarial program at AI? Yeah. What's going on, Matthew? You meeting some people? Oh, yeah. Have yeah. you been hugged today? Several. <laughs> Several times. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Meeting a lot of people? How you doing, man? Jeff Johnson. You guys are scholarship recipients. Have you already met both of them? I'm sorry. So Sharon is the president of our foundation, so if you got a scholarship, she had a lot to do with it. It was great seeing you, man. So John Robinson's been helping. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. Good doing well. Doing well. You having a good time? Yeah. Have you met these folks from D.W. Oh. Simpson? That's Stafford Thompson. We got plenty of time. To <laughs> I got my hug. That works. Thank you so much. We've uh, set a table so people could satisfy their hunger for knowledge, their hunger to learn about the actuarial profession and to decide how am I going to get to the next level. We've also set a stage where people could begin to unite with us around the thought that, you know what, we should do something, we can do something, and we will continue to do something to increase the number of black actuaries. And as heartwarming and as satisfying as being a well-paid actuary is, your promise is far beyond that. And the world will change and be better by people who live their promise. All promise-driven people change the world. And the issue is, will I, will I be comfortable and satisfied with getting a fine education, getting many degrees, getting a well and high-paying job, and getting to be comfortable where I work, or will I do something beyond that because I appreciate the blessing that allowed me to pursue the career that I've been able to pursue.